Let's use our turtle graphics along with a file and a for loop in order to make a design. Uh, to begin with, in uh, this uh, program we have the usual stuff to initiate the turtle graphics. So we need to import the turtle library and we use turtle.getScreen to pop up the window for the drawing. And to save some typing, we can set T to be turtle instead of typing out turtle every time by using uh, this line right here. Now, we're going to draw a design of a maple leaf. So there I have a file, and uh, the file is located here. And in, uh, if you want to read the file, of course, we have to open it. So I'm just going to open up this file. Now, the file just contains some numbers. So if you look at this list of numbers, then these represent X and Y coordinates, where the first column is the X coordinate and the Y column, I mean, the second column is the Y coordinate. So what we're going to do is we're going to read a line from the file, and we're going to send our turtle to that location. Then we'll read the next line from the file, and we'll send our turtle to that location using the go to, and the turtle will trace out a design. So this isn't a very big file, as you can see, but we're going to use this as uh, an exercise to look at using a file with a for loop to draw a design. So let's get going. Now we all know that the turtle starts its location at 0, 0, so we need to move the turtle to its beginning position before we begin to draw, and we don't want to draw a line from 0, 0 out to the beginning position. So to begin with, uh, I want to uh, call the pin up command, and that will raise the pin so that it does not draw. And to make the line bolder, I'm going to set the size of the pin to 2 pixels. Then we're going to open up our file. That, well, we've opened it here, but we're going to use the data in the file. So the for loop that we use for this is shown here. Uh, I'm going to use the variable data because I think that we have data in the file. And the file pointer is called in file. So for the data in the in file, don't forget the colon, we're going to read one line from the file. Now, this line from the file contains two numbers. So somehow I'm going to have to separate those numbers and make them X and Y coordinates. So let's see how we do that. So let's look at a line of code that uses split. And now remember we have to be very careful about the indentation over here. So I'm going to make sure I back all the way up. I'll hit enter. And then uh, Python is going to automatically indent this with uh, a five, four or five spaces here. So I need to be very careful about that. I am going to make a list. I'm calling it chords for coordinates. And I'm going to take the data line, and I'm going to split the items in the data line into this list. Well, what am I going to use for the split? Well, if we look back at the file, then you'll notice that we have spaces in between the numbers. So if I use a space as my split character, then I can separate each one of these lines into a list with only two numbers, one for x and one for y. So I want to do a data split, and I'll do a single quote here, a space, and another single quote. So I will use the split character in order to split the data. Once this is done, then the chords variable is going to be a list containing the two numbers that I read from the file. Once I've split those two items, then I need to convert them into a type that our Turtle Graphics understands. So I have to do the following. I'm going to get the first coordinate using index number 0. So that's the first item in the list, chords. Then I have to convert that to an integer. Because, like I said, the turtle needs to have integer values or real numbers in order to go to a position. Then I am going to um, assign that value to the variable x. So that will be the x coordinate. So this does a couple of things. It pulls out the first item in the list, chords. It converts it to an integer. It saves it in variable x. And I'll do the same thing for y, which I'll pull out the second number, which is the y coordinate, which is at index 1. So now this is pretty simple. I have two coordinates. I just need to send the turtle over to those coordinates. So let's add the commands to do that. So we have turtle go to x and y then we'll send the turtle to that coordinate. That's what the goTo command does with turtle graphics. So I'm going to take the first coordinate. Let's look at the first pass through the loop. I'm going to take the first one, and then I'm going to go to that coordinate 
but I don't want to draw while I'm going. So we had the pin up over here. This is going to send the turtle to the first coordinate, but we're not going to draw the line out to that coordinate. Once we get there, then we can begin drawing. So I'm going to set the pin down. Then as we go through the loop again, we will read in the next item in the file that gives us the next coordinate to go to. So since I have placed the pin down here, when I get back to the top of the loop, I'll read in the uh, next item, split it, and when I do a go to here, it will begin to draw the line. So that's why we did the pin up up here and the pin down down here. Now, let's run the program and let's see what kind of design we get. Okay, so here we have the output window. And sure enough, that sort of looks like a maple leaf, doesn't it? So we read data from the file and then we let our turtle go to these various coordinates that you see here at the points of all these things. And with the pin down, it just drew out a design. Now, for me, that's kind of a small maple leaf, so I'd like to make it, larger, uh, make it a bit larger than that. So I'm going to add something here that I'm going to call it the scale. So let's, uh, let's modify this just a little bit. So I'm just going to add a variable here. I'm going to call it scale, and I can set it to whatever I want, 2, 3, 4. So I'll set the scale to 2. Then, when I use the go to command, I'm going to multiply the x value by the scale. So scale times x. And the same thing for the y coordinate. Since it's small, if I multiply by the scale, I can make it larger, and the design will be larger. Okay, so now, whatever the coordinate is for x and y, then I'm going to multiply that by 2, and then I'll use the go to to make this, uh, to send the turtle there, and it'll be a larger version of our maple leaf. So let's see what we get this time. Okay, so we'll bring this over, and now our maple leaf is larger. So this is a pretty simple little program, and of course if you have a file that has a lot of coordinates in it, then you can make a very intricate design here as well. But this illustrates the point. So let's close this, and let's go back and look at our file one more time. So we'll bring that up, and I'll bring this over. And one thing I want to point out here is that when you're splitting, if you're doing a split right here with a single uh, space, then the file has to have only one space between the numbers. If you have more than one space, then it will get confused and it will read the second number in as a space or it finds two spaces in a row and it really doesn't understand how to handle that. So this is just a good example then of how we can combine a file with the for loop and the uh, split command in order to take data and convert it into something that is perhaps useful. I'm not sure how useful a maple leaf is, but you get the idea. If you have a data file that has a diagram of something or just data that you might want to use in another program, then it's very easy to open the file, read it, split it into a list, and then do something with it. So that will conclude this video.